going on everybody? Evening. Been a long day already. I guess as you can see I'm in my personal vehicle, I'm in my own car. Heading home. Going home for the week. A couple days. Three days. Gotta take the car home because the family needs the car. Having some problems with the Durango. Feels real weird to be driving this long in the car instead of the truck. Believe it or not, I'm more comfortable in the truck than I am in the car. I fidget around a little bit more here than I do in the seat in the truck. <clears throat> Got about another three hours of drive tonight. Just thought I'd check in. Film Lenny earlier because uh, I've had a pretty bad headache and everything all day. But on the plus side, as you guys can see, well, maybe you can't see it yet. I'm on Route 75 and uh, I am just entering Florida, as you can see right there on the sign. So like I said, it's been a crazy long day. Um, I woke up this morning. I was, I'm was i going home early, actually. Uh, I wasn't supposed to be heading home until uh, Thursday or Friday. Uh, I was supposed to be back in the yard in Knoxville on Thursday. But change of plans because of the big storm. It's up north. Um, you know, I, I wanted to run a little bit more and the company wanted me to run a little bit more to get some more you know some more uh, loads in before the end of the week but my next load was going from uh, Greenville Tennessee to Denver Pennsylvania uh, Denver Pennsylvania is probably kind of between Harrisburg and Allentown almost center away I guess it's about 50 something miles east of Carlisle something like that but they're getting a pretty bad snowstorm right now I'm not afraid to drive in the snow. I have no problems with it at all. Um, but because of my home time coming so close, and they had travel bans already going on uh, in Pennsylvania, and who knows what the Albertsons would have done, or Acme Warehouse, I guess they call it, um, would have done when I got there. You know, who knows what would have happened. But I didn't want to get stuck. That's my whole thing. Um, I really need to go home on time this week. I got a few things I gotta take care of. So, I told him I was only an hour from the yard. I might as well just go back to the yard and go home. You know, they didn't have any other short loads nearby going the opposite direction of the snow. So, uh, yeah, my coordinator, dispatcher, Colonial calls them coordinators. Um, I guess it's just fancy terminology for uh, a dispatcher. But uh, pretty much do the same thing. Um, they say we dispatch ourselves. But that's a whole other story. But anyway, um, he agreed. So we, we canceled the load that I had and went back to the yard. It was actually snowing uh, from there. Snow and sleet all the way back to Knoxville. Um, all, all morning, all day, really. So uh, there was... Uh, <laughs> A little problem with the car when I got there. Uh, it's been sitting for almost, whew, I don't know, maybe two months now, and I haven't really started it or drove it or anything. Uh, when I go through the yard, usually I take the keys and fire it up a little bit just to keep the batteries going, but when I went to go to the car this morning, I couldn't get in it. Um, it's a hybrid, so it's uh, half electric, half gas, you know, engine. So I'm like, all right, great. 
obviously I have a key fob and there's a key inside the key fob so uh, I'll just open the door with the key if I have to I'll get a jump start but for starters the batteries are in the trunk so that's problem number one now there's no key entry on the door there's no keyhole on any of the doors on the trunk nothing so I'm like great how do I get in the car so I went to my shop and I asked them and uh, the uh, shop supervisor he, he had no clue either he just didn't know you know I guess you know they don't really work on cars or the exterior of cars and stuff like that or you know so um, we called the dealer the Ford dealer and asked them and they had no clue at first and finally I got all of somebody and she's like yeah you're gonna have to tow the car here I'm like I'm not gonna tow the car I'll bust the window before I tow the car you know I, I don't want to do that so clean off a little bit of the snow and ice and underneath the uh, door handle on the driver's side there's like a little tiny opening like a little slot not really for a key but you know I tried sticking a key in there to see if it would go up in or whatever and you know it wasn't really going in much at all and then all of a sudden on the door handle where you have the, the, the pull well just to the right of that on there that part of it the cover fell off and what do you know what's underneath the cover is the key hole so I was like alright perfect I, I don't understand why the dealer didn't know that I mean isn't it their job to know that get it but anyway so got the car open obviously I can't open the trunk because there's no electric or anything so I was like well batteries in the trunk I'll put the seats down the back of the seats down the rear and I'll just climb to the back so I go into my shop and I asked them to borrow the uh, jump box and they have you know all kinds of jump boxes but I only need a little one so I got it got back out to the car I couldn't fit the jump box through the opening and it only had really short like uh, 18 inch cables on it or something like that so they're really short cables but um, so I'm like great I'll have to crawl through and pop the trunk manually with their release cord so I, I get as far as I can now you know me being a slightly overweight <laughs> um, <laughs> I couldn't fit all the way through so you know I mean that, that there's that much of a gap anyway uh, because it's an electric car they have a, a really small trunk because of all the batteries and electric and everything that's all back there but anyway I'm pulling on the cord and I'm hearing it click I get out and I, the trunk's not open so I go back in do it again go back open the trunk and nothing I can't open the trunk I'm like great now what well, stupid me, I was pulling the fuel door release. Not marked, I don't know why. But I should have known because it's on a side anyway. So anyway, I I see the trunk release. Reach it and I, I'm probably about six inches shy. Tried to wedge in there as much as I could. I don't care how skinny you are, I don't think anybody's really squeezing through. But uh so on a I go back into the, the yard and I asked him my mechanic and I asked him if he had uh anything I can use to reach and open it with I mean even if I had to use a long pair of pliers or something but he gave me the uh, fifth wheel release bar which I never thought of and that reached and you know I popped it open and got in I hooked it up and finally got the truck the, the car jump started and it fired right up I mean I hooked them up within 10 seconds I walked around the driver's side and the car started right up so it's not a problem I was actually thinking that uh after not running for almost two months, my biggest fear was I was getting even a battery because the battery might have been dead for a long time and the cells wouldn't charge or anything. But it's been doing pretty good. I've been checking my battery gauge on my dash and uh, you know it keeps going up. So obviously it's uh, battery's not dead dead. So the cells are good at least for now. So that took a while. It took probably about an hour and a half or so. Got the things I needed out of my truck. I only got a couple days to close uh, in case I got to fly uh, back to the yard because uh, having problems with the rental car, you know, it's, I don't know, they won't let me rent a car because the credit score is not high enough and I don't have a credit card, I have a debit card and when you only have debit cards, they 
run your credit credit card you could pay and they don't run your credit for some reason I don't know I don't have any credit cards so uh, I, I don't know anybody with one and even if I did it doesn't really matter because when I go to pick up the car they would have to be there at the time to pick the car up and uh, I really don't have a lot of people I know in Florida by me I haven't lived there long enough really to really know too many people so uh, that's out of the question I guess so now I gotta see if I can get a cheap flight cheapest flights I'm seeing on the day that I want to fly um, three three to four hundred dollars one way so I gotta figure something out or I guess I'll be greyhounding it and taking a couple extra days to get back uh, I was hoping you know I, I had a pretty good, good couple loads this week so going home now our payroll ends on Thursday it's not really gonna hurt my time because if I go back on Friday that's the beginning of the week. It'll be like I never even went home, really. You know, I'll still get a full weekend next week. I won't go in the hole with the truck payments or anything. You know, so that's a good thing. But we'll see. May not be able to go back until Monday. I don't know. Um, company doesn't rent cars out because uh, I guess they stopped a couple years ago because they had rented a guy a car to go to orientation. And uh, yeah, I guess he wound up in Vegas somehow. You know. <laughs> crazy right so the company paid for that and I guess the guy didn't return the car on time kept it a, a lot longer than he should have and the company got a lot of extra charges so they don't rent cars anymore which does make sense you know I guess maybe for new people I would understand but you know I've been a driver there for a while and you know they know me I got my truck there with all my stuff in it so you think they would have no problem doing it but gotta find a way back there somehow can't walk it's too far but like I said, got about another two hours and 40 minutes now, I guess, something like that. Two hours, 45 minutes. Just under three hours now. Um, it's probably uh, about nine and a half to ten hour ride from uh, my terminal home. So it's not bad. You know, I'll be home by midnight. Get some sleep, wake up. And spend Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at home at least. And then uh, leave Thursday night or Friday morning. Maybe Friday afternoon if I depending on what time the flights and everything are. So, but, maybe tomorrow I'll do some editing. I got a couple videos to put up, but I wanna, I got a bunch of stuff recorded, but um, I don't wanna make one long video, so I'll make a couple small videos and space them out a little bit. So, uh, and then when I go back, gotta find a I don't like how the GoPro is mounted in the truck right now so I gotta get a dash uh, not dash mount I have to get a, uh, a window a suction cup for the GoPro and of course now that I need one I can't find one anywhere uh, I've been to multiple Best Buys multiple Walmarts nobody has them don't know why and uh, I really don't want to go to Amazon because I'm not gonna be home long enough and for some reason I can't get any of them delivered uh, through Prime to where I can have it done in like a day or two you know I'm only home a couple days so gotta try and find a Walmart with one but otherwise somehow I'm gonna have to mount it somewhere different in the center of the window um, you know, I'm gonna start doing my vlogs and start doing some uh, I'm gonna start doing some like sort of training videos or informative videos for uh, my work and for uh, doing things on the truck uh, I'm going to make a series of pre-trip videos for a lot of the new drivers coming in that are wondering about pre-trip and give them an idea of what they have to look for. But I'm going to break it up into different segments and do one thing at a time. Uh, like, you know, quick little five minute part one through ten maybe, something like that. You know, on all the uh, different areas. Um, you know, for the new drivers. I know a lot of stuff's been uh, done to death, but uh, sometimes they like the newer videos or, you know what I mean? You know, share some tips on with people, uh, some tricks that I know I've learned over the years. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much it for now, guys. You're driving home. I'm gonna stop and uh, get some more coffee. I'm out of coffee. I need some more coffee to help me get home for a couple hours. But it's only uh, 
tell you what, I, I just got into Florida, as you know, and uh, it's only 43 degrees. I'll, I'm going to say when I get home, it's only going to be in the 50s. It's not going to be that warm. I don't know. I was hoping to come home and be in the 70s and wear some shorts and flip-flops for a couple days, you know? But I didn't bring much, so... I have to fly back it's only going to be my backpack and you know I got one of those little carry-on bags of uh, brief, whatever you want to call them those plastic things on wheels with the handle and all uh, luggage <laughs> so I'll just put everything in that if I have to fly I was hoping to drive back but I wanted to stop at uh, Rainey's Chrome over in um, I guess it's Ocala Ocala area, Florida. Uh, I need a um, what do you call it for the back of my truck? A load bar holder. Uh, they sell them for like uh, 50, 60 bucks, something like that. But I need one to hold the load bars because right now where I put them isn't really good. So and I don't want them to get stolen. And at least if I had that load bar rack, you know, I could put a padlock on them and you know, people can't steal them. And they're expensive. I'm tired. By the time I get home, I'll be nice and tired and fall right to sleep. That first night video, I think, uh, I took it. So hopefully, uh, the vision's good on it. I have it set on cinematic. Um, it's a uh, cinematic 4K, I think. I think it's on 4K cinematic view. So hopefully the picture's good. I got it zoomed in a little bit too. I really didn't want to, you know, when it was zoomed out too much, it picked up too much of the dash and not too much, you know, enough of the outside. So, but anyway guys, I don't want to make this too long enough of the rambling. Just want to get home. Yeah, the truck for a few days. I guess I'll uh, see you on Friday. Hey, if I do fly, um, I'll have the GoPro, so I'll, I'll do some filming from up above the clouds. Maybe it'll be some nice clear weather. Uh, get some land shots in. It's only an hour flight uh, from Orlando to Knoxville, so uh, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Looks like a U-Haul truck tried to bypass the way station. That's not a way station, it's the ag scale. And uh, U-Haul trucks, those moving trucks, anything like that, even if it's your own personal move or whatever, you have to go through them. So, uh, yeah, he's probably gonna get a big fine. That's, that's big, you don't pass an ag station. It's a rainy night in Georgia, hidden at